Hi there and welcome to a new video. My name is Paul Willems and in this video I will give you a small introduction to search engine optimization. Okay, let's talk about search engine optimization. How can you benefit from it for your website? So first of all, let's talk a little bit about Google. Well, everybody uses Google nowadays. If you do a search on Google, which I did here on the words Rubik Cube, I got a lot of information. But as you can see, I got over 33 million results and that's a lot. So how do you get on the first page or maybe the second page of these results? So see it for yourself. If you do a search on Google, you never click to the second, third or fourth page. You always get your information from the first page. So that's important. And still, if you take a look at the, at the first page, your screen will cover actually only this part here. And this part is only filled by sponsored results. So there are products which people have paid for to view it in Google. There's an advertisement which a company has paid for to view it in Google. So actually people will first see nowadays only the paid results. But if you scroll down a little, here in the green area, those are the organic results. So those are the results that you don't have to pay for. And how do you get on the first page of Google? And maybe if you have good information and you are at the bottom of the first page, still people will click to your website. This is important. If there's an ad, you can see it by the icon or you can see it by the word sponsored links. So when we take a look at the digital marketing model, we see that search engine optimization is actually an online marketing channel to get more visitors to your website. Just as social media, just as search engine advertisement, just as email marketing, those are all channels to get more visitors to your website. And search engine advertisement actually consists of two parts. You have off-page search engine opt optimization and on-page search engine optimization. Well, off-page search engine optimization is a thing you can work on, but you don't have to do anything on your website or on your page. Link building is one. If you have a good blog, a good subject, and people say, wow, I'm going to make a hyperlink on my website to your website because you offer really good content. That is plus one for your website. And if a lot of other websites link to your website, Google will index this and they will say, hey, your page is important because it's being linked by a lot of websites. And if those websites are being linked to by other websites, if those websites are important, that will give a lot of link authority to your website. So make sure you have good content on your website that is being linked by other companies. And of course, it's really, really important. If you have a, a subject about the Rubik's Cube, then it would be nice that another important website has a hyperlink with the name Rubik's Cube in it and is linking to your website. So you don't have to do anything for it except writing really good content. Another off-page SEO aspect is authority. And authority is a thing that you actually cannot work on. So if you have a new website, your website is totally green and nobody knows your website, you don't have a lot of pages on your website, Google hasn't indexed your website very well yet, so don't expect to get high in Google. If you have a new website and you have really good content on your website, well, of course, it is possible. I've seen it many times to get on a first page in Google within a few weeks or a few months. But to have really a lot of pages on a first page in Google, uh, that will take years. But if your brand name, if your company name, if your website name is really famous, is really well known by a lot of people, they will find you and Google will see it and Google will say, hey, if you look for this subject, I know which website and which brand people are looking for and this brand will place on the first position in Google, even though the website is, is, is poorly optimized for sale. So the next one is on-page sale. You can do a lot with your website that improves your ranking in Google. First of all, there's technique. If your website is technical really good, so that means if it's fast, if it's, it is programmed well, if it's really responsive, so it means that when you are looking at the website on a mobile phone, it would look really good and it's good readable. And if your website um, is being displayed on a desktop or, or, or an 
uh, a tablet or an iPad, uh, it looks also really good. So make sure that you spend a lot of time on Technic. And even if you are not a technical person and you're having, for instance, a WordPress website, there are lots of plugins that will help you make your website better and make sure that your hosting account is fast enough. And maybe still one of, of, the, of the most important factors, those are keywords. Sounds weird, but if you want to be found on the word Rubik's Cube, the word Rubik's Cube must be actually in your website. And if the word is one time in your website and the word games is five or six times in your website, maybe Google's thinking, well, this page is about games. It's not about the Rubik's Cube. So make sure that your keyword is, is placed a lot on your website. And it should be in the title of your website. And it should be in the text of your website and in a list and in your YouTube video and in your image and in your image name. So we have an entire video spent on keywords. So this is the model I always talk about when I talk about search engine optimization. In the early days, you only have to take care about the keywords and popularity and techniques. And if you had those three factors in order, then you will have a high position in Google. But nowadays, it's actually just the base of your sale, of your search engine optimization. Your keywords need to be in order. You need to have your website, you need to have your website popular enough and the technique of your website must be good. That's just the base. And on the base, you will build a house. And the house is your website. And if your website is really nice to view, if it's got really good content, if it's got really unique content, content that people want to see, Google will index you good. If you have a website with really good content and people want to see it, but your, your base is not good, so you have not the right keywords in it, your website is really slow, then the house will not hold. And so everything needs to be in order. And there's one video, and it's the video of Rand Fishkin of Why Bird Friday from Seomos. And the video is called How Google Pandas Update Changed the Sale Best Practices Forever. And the video is really old. It's already, uh, I guess, uh, uh, from 2013 or 2014. But still, this story is so true nowadays. And uh, still, uh, you need to make sure that your website has good content. So please watch this video search for it on Google and, 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 and it will help you really understand what SEO is all about. It helped me really a lot. So having a good website and having a good base, that's what SEO is all about. That's how you get higher in Google. That's it. I hope you liked the video. If you like my videos, please subscribe to my channel.